Hey everybody, I've got another question. Why do we worship on Sunday? If you haven't done so yet, I want to invite you to check out my other videos in this series. I talk about the relevance of the Ten Commandments, about legalism and obedience, the relevance of the Sabbath, Sunday worship in the New Testament, and more. So let's get into it. Why do we Christians worship on Sunday? Many people have never even thought about why they keep Sunday holy instead of Saturday. Everybody does it. During the time of the apostles, it was unpopular to be a Christian. But as the years passed, Christians were persecuted by the secular world, burned at the stake, fed to animals, all sorts of horrible things done to them, persecuted outside of the Jewish church. But something changed when Constantine was converted to Christianity. Christianity all of a sudden became popular. Many people became Christians while still maintaining their pagan beliefs as well. In AD 321, Emperor Constantine, the sun worshiper, wanted to enforce or put forth his Christianity, and so he made a declaration. On the venerable day of the sun, let the magistrates and people residing in cities rest, and let shops be closed. So this was Constantine's Christianity, and Christians had a choice at this point. Were they going to go with the flow of what was easy, or were they going to stick with what the Word of God said and do what it said? If they were to stick with the Word of God, they were to be persecuted by the secular world and by the religious world. Finally, in 363 and 364 at the Council of Laodicea, there was a declaration made by the church now that Christians shall not Judaize and be idle on Saturday, but the Lord's Day they shall especially honor. And as being Christians shall, if possible, do no work on the day. If, however, they are found Judaizing, they shall be shut out from Christ. So the religious world isn't just saying that you better not do this or else we're going to persecute you. They're saying you better not do this or you'll be shut out from Christ. You'll be lost. This was the church of the time. And Christians, in a large degree, left Sabbath keeping for Sunday keeping. Now, let's look and see what the church of today has to say about this. And I want to focus especially on the church that's been around for hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years, the church that was this church at the Council of Laodicea. What did the church say, this Catholic universal church, say about changing the day from Saturday to Sunday? Let's start out by looking at the Convert's Catechism of Catholic Doctrine. This is by Reverend Peter Gierman. We're going to look at pages 49 and 50. Question number three, the third commandment. What is the third commandment? The third commandment is remember that thou keep holy the Sabbath day. Which is the Sabbath day? The answer, Saturday is the Sabbath day. Why do we observe Sunday instead of Saturday? Answer, we observe Sunday instead of Saturday because the Catholic Church in the Council of Laodicea transferred the solemnity from Saturday to Sunday. Why did the Catholic Church substitute Sunday for Saturday? Answer, the Church substituted Sunday for Saturday because Christ rose from the dead on a Sunday and the Holy Ghost descended upon the Apostles on a Sunday. Question, by what authority did the church substitute Sunday for Saturday? The church substituted Sunday for Saturday by the plenitude of that divine power which Jesus Christ bestowed upon her. So the church believes that its authority is higher than just the Bible alone. The church fathers and tradition and, and other things play part in the authority of the church, even above the law of God itself. Let's look at another catechism, this one by Stephen Keenan. This is on page 174. Question. Have you any other way of proving that the church has power to institute festivals of precept? Answer. 
Had she not such power, she could not have done that in which all modern religionists agree with her. She could not have substituted the observance of Sunday, the first day of the week, for the observance of Saturday, the seventh day, a change for which there is no scriptural authority. This is quite a strong position that the church takes to say we have this authority that supersedes the Ten Commandments or the law of God, and here's the proof of it. Let's look at another one. This one's from the Catholic Encyclopedia, Volume 4. We read, The church, on the other hand, after changing the day of rest from the Jewish Sabbath, or seventh day of the week, to the first day, made the third commandment refer to Sunday as the day to be kept holy as the Lord's day. Although Protestant churches have separated themselves from Catholicism, they're still a part of the Catholic practice in the practice of the Protestant churches. Let's look at another one, The Faith of Millions by Reverend John O'Brien. Since Saturday, not Sunday, is specified in the Bible, isn't it curious that non-Catholics who profess to take their religion directly from the Bible and not from the church observe Sunday instead of Saturday? Yes, of course, it is inconsistent, but this change was made about 15 centuries before Protestantism was born, and by that time the custom was universally observed. They have continued the custom even though it rests upon the authority of the Catholic Church and not upon the explicit text in the Bible. It's clear that the authority of the change of the Sabbath was from the church, not from the scripture. Many sincere Bible-loving Christians worship on Sunday not realizing that it's not from the Bible, but from the church, that it was something that was changed outside of the authority of God's word. Let's look at the July 1895 issue of the Non-Sectarian. It was a compilation of writings by different religious writers on different topics. Here's what Father T. Enright from Missouri had to say about the Sabbath. What right have the Protestant churches to observe that day, Sunday? None whatsoever. You say it is to obey the commandment, remember the Sabbath day, to keep it holy? But Sunday is not the Sabbath, according to the Bible and the record of time. Everyone knows that Sunday is the first day of the week, while Saturday is the seventh day, and the Sabbath, the day consecrated as the day of rest. It is so recognized in all civilized nations. I have repeatedly offered $1,000 to anyone who will furnish any proof from the Bible that Sunday is the day we are bound to keep and no one has called for the money. If any person in this town will show me any scripture for it, I will tomorrow evening publicly acknowledge it and thank him for it. It was the Holy Catholic Church that changed the day of rest from Saturday to Sunday, the first day of the week. And it not only compelled all to keep Sunday, but at the Council of Laodicea, A.D. 364, anathematized those who keep the Sabbath and urged all persons to labor on the seventh day under penalty of anathema. Which church does the whole civilized world obey? Protestants call us every horrible name they can think of. Antichrist, the scarlet colored beast, Babylon, etc., and at the same time profess great reverence for the Bible, and yet, by their own solemn act of keeping Sunday, they acknowledge the power of the Catholic Church. The Bible says, remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy, and that the seventh day is the Sabbath, but the Catholic Church says, no, keep the first day of the week, and the whole world bows in obedience. Now, this is Father Enright again, a few years earlier, from the American Sentinel. He says, Dear friend, I have repeatedly offered $1,000 to anyone who can prove to me, from the Bible alone, that I am bound to keep Sunday holy. There is no such law in the Bible. It is a law of the Holy Catholic Church alone. The Bible says, remember 
that thou keep holy the Sabbath day? The Catholic Church says, no, by my divine power, I abolish the Sabbath day and command you to keep holy the first day of the week. And lo, the entire civilized world bows down in reverent obedience to the command of the Holy Catholic Church. Why do we worship on Sunday? We change the day without the authority of God, without the authority of the Bible. Many, many years ago, and now people just forgot about it and just assumed that it's on Sunday. But there's no scriptural authority for it. It's the authority of the Catholic Church. Also, Catholicism and fundamentalism, page 38. After all, fundamentalists meet for worship on Sunday, yet there is no evidence in the Bible that corporate worship was to be made on Sunday. The Jewish Sabbath, or day of rest, was, of course, Saturday. It was the Catholic Church that decided Sunday should be the day of worship for Christians in honor of the resurrection. For Catholics, in the, in the Catholic mind, as far as I can understand, this is okay. It's okay to have other authorities outside of the Word of God. It's okay to take the authority of the Church Fathers, of, of Church tradition, of the uh, declarations of the councils, of the declarations of the Pope, and to say these are as authoritative as the Bible is. The question you've got to ask yourself is, am I going to go along with the authority of a church? Am I going to go along with the authority of a system? Or am I going to go along with the authority of the Bible and the Bible alone? One last statement, and this one's by James Cardinal Gibbons in The Faith of Our Fathers. It says, but you may read the Bible from Genesis to Revelation, and you will not find a single line authorizing the sanctification of Sunday. The scriptures enforce the religious observance of Saturday, a day which we never sanctify. So there it is. Why do we worship on Sunday? Because the church changed the day, and even after the split in the Reformation, and many different Protestant denominations came from that, people just didn't think about it. I bring it to your attention today to ask you to think about it. Why do you worship on Sunday? Is it because it's something you find in the Bible? Or is it because you just never thought about it before?